anxiety drugs and Alzheimer's disease. Researchers in Canada found that seniors taking medications like Xanax and Valium for more than three months had up to 51 percent higher risk of the disease. Mm. Our Dr. Holly Phillips is with us. Good morning. Good morning. All right, what medications are we talking about? Because this is scary. Sure, no, we're talking about the benzodiazepines. They're a class of drugs that are calming. They act on our central nervous system. Well, you might know them by common names like Xanax, Valium, Clonopin. Well, the researchers today focused on people who had ever taken the drugs for three months or longer and found that they had nearly double the risk of developing Alzheimer's disease at some point in their life. Now, we have to be clear, this is a link. It's not cause and effect. We can't say the benzodiazepines cause Alzheimer's disease, but there is some link between taking them at some point in your life and developing the condition. And what do they suspect that is? Well, you know, what's interesting about it, this is not the first study to, to worry about long-term effects on the brain, whether it's concentration, memory, the ability to think clearly, or even dementia. There may be some way that the, that the drugs affect our GABA receptors such that they have some long-term effects. Mm -hmm. okay. So if, if you're taking these drugs, what should you be asking your doctor? And I noticed you didn't have Ambien on the list, which is a very common sleeping drug. Well, that's a sleeping drug, and it's actually a, in a different class from okay. benzodiazepines. And that's that's actually a really important, important point because if you are on the drugs, rather than just getting a refill every month with your doctor, you should make sure that this is the best drug and the only drug for you. For instance, there are other sleep aids, like you mentioned, Ambien or mm -hmm. natural alternatives, you know, to help to help you to get to sleep. Or for anxiety, there are also other classes of medications that we can use. I mean, wow. I think, I mean, a lot of people suffer exactly. from anxiety, sure, and yeah. a lot of people take um, Xanax. You know, I mean, it's, mm -hmm. it has that code name now as Mommy's Little Helper that a lot of people use it. But you're saying it's got to be really careful. Absolutely. You know, more than 100 million prescriptions are written every single year for the benzodiazepines, and overall they are safe and important drugs you know they're tried and true for anxiety uh, for difficulty sleeping for seizures for alcohol withdrawal their main issues are addiction and abuse and in the elderly they can also be hard on the kidneys and liver and today's research isn't the first and mm -hmm. it definitely won't be the last looking at whether they have long-term effects on our brain mm -hmm. all right interesting thank, thank you holly thank you